All right, so in this video, we are going to be doing an oil pastel coloring and shading. And um, gentlemen, ladies, eyes up, please. A couple things about pastels. You guys will possibly be getting them in a baggie like this. Um, there's quite the a variety of colors, which is also part of the reason I chose to come up with a candy still life because I wanted something bright and colorful. And I say that, but then the one I actually chose is probably the one that's not the one of the most um, duller ones that you see. These M&Ms are pretty colorful, but this one's got plenty of colors in it. So first of all, when it comes to using the pastels, I want you to keep these in the bag as much as possible um, because we do not want these on the floor. We don't want them getting crushed, and we certainly don't want to break them because they're much easier to use as this. I'm putting them out so you guys can see the colors. I need eyes up, please. Now, when it comes to using oil pastels, they're a lot like crayon, but they're actually much smoother than crayons. Um, and that's the part, the lure, the fun of it is they're, they blend really, really well. And so we're going to be using them, but we're going to be blending using pastel on top of pastel. And I would recommend that almost everywhere in your picture, you are going to use more than one color for an object. You're going to use more than one color. For example, all right, I've got this cup up here, and I'm going to start with white on it. And you don't need a ton to begin with. You can always come back and add more to it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some white down. And you could pretty much do the whole cup with white. So obviously, I'm not going to take the entire 10 minutes to fill this in white. All right, but then I'm going to say, okay, what color would I add here? Well, it's got like a shadow on the left side. So over here, I'm going to add a little bit of black to it. And generally, black is one of these colors I don't put in um, my containers very often because people tend to use too much black. I'm going to trust you guys to take it slow, take it easy when it comes to adding some of the colors like black. So with this, I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of black in here. And what's happening right now is that black is just kind of sitting on the surface of the white. It's not really blending like I want it to. And if you guys were listening, I just said we're going to use pastel to blend pastel. Um, it's so tempting to just take your finger and want to blend it in. And it, I'm not saying you can't, but first of all, your finger gets really messy. And this stuff is not the easiest to clean off. But also, um, it actually works better to do, as I said, when you just use pastel to blend pastel. So you might have to actually have some paper towel to wipe your pastel off. I did say that, right? Paper towel to wipe your pastel off. But if I just do this, see how it's turning gray? I was going to say, whoever's watching this video is going to have no idea that I have a class in here because you guys are so quiet. And that's still pretty dark. Okay, but you can see it's no longer black, it's the gray, which is exactly what I wanted, what's in the picture here. So again, blending pastel with pastel is what we're working towards here. Now the inside of the cup has got some gray in it too, so I would do the same thing. I would apply that white in here and then put just a little bit of black down and then use the white to blend it again. And you can see my white's a little dirty here, so with a little paper towel we can just kind of clean that off. Now, as we get to the other colors, like the little Reese's Pieces over here, what colors do you think I would use? Yeah. Brown. Okay, go back to my rule, though, where I said you're almost always going to use two or more colors. Gentlemen, I need your eyes up here. So what color could I use with brown to get this? White. Black. What would you say? Black. Yeah. I, and I'm not, I'm not going to say you can't use white in some areas, but I think I'll start with brown and black. So again, over here, I'm going to apply this brown. Well, that's too much of a warm brown. What I mean by that is it's, it's kind of a reddish brown. So if I put a little bit of this brown down, <laughs> then I can put a little black over it. And boy, I don't need much. That might be a little bit more than what I even needed. So then I'm going to take my brown and just move it around. I'm, I'm liking this rhyming going on here. And it's now more of a deep, dark brown, which is a lot closer than to the Reese's color 
the, and you can see the difference right here. Guys, again, I need your eyes up. Okay, so this is brown without black. This is brown with black, which is much more of a Reese's color. How about the inside of the Reese's, where you bite into it? You can see there's a bite there. Would you say red and white? Brown. Brown and white. Okay. I actually would say you're right, but I would add a touch of yellow to it because it has a little bit more of a yellowish look. So maybe yellow, brown. The white is actually going to subdue it which is good because it's not a real bright yellow and it's not a real bright brown. So I would actually use yellow, brown, and white for the inside of the Reese's. Okay, so then we have this part over here, which is this um, Hershey's Kiss that's our, that still has the wrapper on it. Okay, this Hershey's Kiss, guys, I need your eyes up. Because the actual open Hershey's Kiss is still going to be the brown and black. It's a lot like the Reese's, that chocolate look. But when we come over here, we've got red, and we have a shadow look, okay? We've got a little bit of a shadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some red down and then I'm gonna use black for the shadow part over here, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my red back over the top of it to make it more maroonish or a shade. But then there's also, because it's aluminum, it's shiny, it's got a little bit of white in it. So in this area right here, I'm gonna put just a little bit of a white speckle to give it a highlight. It doesn't take a whole lot and it's already starting to look, like, look a lot like the picture. I would need to put the shadow over here. All right, and that's really about it. Now the shadows in the background, there's a really strong shadow back here. I would say that's going to be black with just a little bit of brown added to it, or black with just a little bit of blue added to it. But again, I hold true to this idea that you should be adding two or possibly more colors to almost every object you do up here. And if we go back to that young lady's example, all right, of this one, she had a lot of blue, like in this one, it looks very realistic. She's got a lot of blue right there, all right, but she added just a touch of black to give the shadow up here and then she definitely put a little white speck for the highlights, which is why it looks so real and so cool. All right, now you guys are going to be hanging on to these oil pastels until you are completely done with this. You have a bag, I want you to keep them in a bag, and I also want you to tuck them into your um, tub or on your shelf so somebody doesn't look at it as they're walking in and go, ooh, cool, grabbing it and you know leaving it somewhere. So these are your responsibility, this is your pastel kit that you keep until you're done. All right? So.